All right, hello everybody. Welcome to this tutorial. Um, usually, I make my tutorials on FL Studio, but recently <clears throat> I switched to Logic, and um, it's a really, really cool program. I'm still going to be using FL, but I need this for college. Anyway, um, I started running into some problems right away when I was like using Logic, and there was a lot of things that. I was able to do an FL that I thought, whereas I, but I were basically, I'm just going to teach you all the basic functions of logic, um, how you would do them in FL, how you would do them in logic. So basically, just so we're going to go really, really fast, this is going to be a basic rundown. This is the arrange window. This is basically the exact same window that we have in FL Studio as to where you put your, where you put your blocks or like your patterns or whatever. All right. And this is your, this is like the thing, like this whole loops and library and browser. You can go to your desktop from here. The library gives you all the synths from things like that. And the loops give you all these things. So let's start off with a loop. Let's take clean. And the way to do this is the same exact way as in um, FL Studio. Drag it in. Boom. Now you have loop. Right, so first of all, it's really small, so this is how you make it bigger. There, so now you have this loop. All right, so now in FL Studio, let's first take away this library, which you do by shortcut pressing O. Now, in FL Studio, when you'd want to, this in FL Studio would be called a pattern, but in Logic, it's called a region. So but in FL Studio, you would just click on the region pattern and then go over there and click it wherever you want, obviously. But here in Logic, it works a little bit differently. So first of all, there's different ways of doing this. First way of doing this is you go to the top right of the region with your mouse and this little arrow thingy, this little circle arrow thingy is going to pop up and you just hold down your left click and you start looping it like that. And that's it. And now, but now it's dark. So you do is you right click on it and you play convert loops to real copies. Now you have a real loop. And now you can move both of them. And then you can double it by selecting like that. Or you can go, let's go back to here. Second. Now let's unloop this thingy for a second. Let's do let's delete that. Ah. Nah, that was stupid. Sorry about that. Let's bring it back in. Now, let's say you didn't want to loop it. Let's say you wanted to bring it to there, to to this part of the track, not by three. You wanted to bring it to bar four, right? You want to break or something over here, so you would go and you would hold down Option, left click, and now it says Copy Regions, bring it to where you want it to go, and that's it. And now you got that. So that's a very very simple way of doing it, um, and you're gonna need to learn how to do that. Okay. Next thing is the piano roll. You can enter basically all the things are from over here instead of up there, like on FL Studio. So the mixer is opening up. I'm not going into the mixer right now because I don't really know how to do that. And it's a little bit more complicated than FL, but we'll get into that eventually. Sample editor. This is no sample to display it, but when there is, it'll be like that. Um, piano roll. So this is the piano roll. We'll start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Obviously, it's the same type of way. You move everything, and da, da da And you can go back and forth and make different changes and different things like that. Right. So now, this piano roll is like a little bit small, though. Right. So, what you can do is you can go to Command 6, and it opens up as a whole new window over here, and you can see different things. You will not be able to type anything in unless you go onto the pencil tool. Right. Fine. Um, fine, so that's that thingy. Let's see, putting in plugins is either from O, let's go to O, library, logic, instruments. All right, let's see, you want to do this ESM, so you just open it like that, and now it goes onto that channel, or you just go like, or whatever, something like that, you know. And if you want to add, let's say, a new track like that, you go to these things over there, and you press create. And now you can switch it by clicking on whichever one you want it to be, right? So now, how do you get to the actual plugin? You click, just go over here. This is called the inspector. 
I mean, Spectre is like a mini mixer type thing. You can see what's going on, and you can put effects in like that. You just hold down, okay, over here also. They have all these really, really cool effects and different things, just like they have on FL. I'm not sure how to automate them yet. And then also over here, if you want to see the actual plugin, you go like that, and you can start going through all the things like that. Now on FL Studio, you would just be able to start hitting notes on your keyboard, and you would hear a sound. But if you do that on Logic, it doesn't really go. So what do you do? So you press Caps Lock, and then this little thing pops up, and this is a mini keyboard. <laughs> change the octaves like over here by going one two three four five six on your keyboard so there's a lot of little, so that's basically the way of doing that um what else okay let me see what else is going on over here oopsie all right, so this is one of my songs over here, and um, this is how things would look. Basically, obviously, I want to teach you how to color things. You would just click on the region that you'd want, and you would just press colors, and then all these colors pop up. But I wanted to show you um, things over here like this. Let's say we wanted to, hmm, let's say, blah, 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 blah. what did I want to tell you? Oh, automation. Automation is like this. Automation, instead of FL Studio inserting an automation clip and the whole entire thing, basically the automation on Logic is amazing and it runs through the whole entire song just like this. And wherever you are in the song, you can go down. So let's say you wanted to go over here and you wanted to, let's say, this club dip, this um, thing over here, this beat, you wanted it to go higher in volume or lower in volume, you just left click, you make a dot over there, and dot over there. And you can bring it down and up, which is and this is really awesome that this automation works. Is you don't have to like get messy with clips, um, like we did in FL Studio and all over the place. Um, you can control the volume and the pan, different things like that. And there's all these different options and stuff. It's 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 pretty cool. There's a lot of different things that you can do over here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the first tutorial. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more actually, just because. It's pretty simple, and one thing about this program is that it's like just amazing, and there's just so many good things in it, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can turn on the metronome, obviously, from over here. Metronome, this is solo, um, same type of thing. If you want to loop a certain part, you just go like that, top there. And if you want to drag it, you can just move it like that boom, back and forth, um, yeah, that's it.